These are the two latest prints I just finished framing. This is St. Kieran's and this is the Corduroy Road in Waterloo. One of my clients saw a couple large prints that I had and he wanted some prints a little bit smaller. He wanted a 12 by 16 print in a 16 by 20 frame. So I made these two prints and framed them. This is when we landed in Pettifort. We're on our way to Southeast Bight. Now we were misinformed about the ferry and we were facing a really long wait. First I made some lunch, then we had a little look around town and we found a museum. In the museum I saw a painting from St. Kieran's, which is a settlement that had been abandoned. Now the museum fella told me if I went to see the fishermen at the dock we could get a ride across and not have to wait for the ferry. So that's exactly what we did. We had to wait about 20 minutes and then we were ready to go and we sailed across. We're just leaving Petty Fort right now on the fishing boat and we're headed off to Southeast Bight. This is the boat that took us across from Petty Fort to Southeast Bight. Here we are in the Bight. There's some of the fishing sheds there. There was a big party that night where we had fireworks and everything for a 40th anniversary. It was a great time. had a little bit of a fire happening there when they were burning a little bit of rubbish out behind the shed. It caught fire big time and the firemen came put out the fire. It wasn't that big of a deal. We're right beside the ocean so it wasn't too bad. Firemen are done their work now. Just a little bit of clean up and it's all finished. Wow what a nice day it is in Southeast Bight today. Just having a look around some of the boats. So like an inshore fisheries, I guess you'd call it. It's a beautiful little harbor. I really like it there. Here's the ferry that goes back and forth to, from Pettifort to Southeast Bight. Lovely little community. You can walk down the road and see lots of sights. There's farm machinery and sort of rusting away going back to where it came from. Now I'm on the boat. This is a speed boat. We're going to head out of Southeast Bight on a little two-hour run to get to St. Cairns. It was rough too. I saw a caribou on the beach walking past these lobster pots that the fishermen keep there. Got a close-up look at this guy. This is as close as I've ever been to a caribou. Then we saw a big seal just laying on a rock, sunning itself. Hadn't, this is the very first seal I've ever seen as well. Now we're landed at St. Cairns. Here's the old church. This is the wooden church. This was built after the stone church had collapsed, and it also went into disrepair. Because of the policies, the government wanted to move all the people from these small outports and move them back into the city so that they could get their benefits and everything easier and it was just a lot easier on the system. People had to abandon their graveyards where their family members were buried in years gone by. It was pretty tumultuous for people to be sort of ripped away from where they lived. This is uh, Skipper Carey's boat. This is the speed boat that we came out in. I was taking some pictures of the church while he was winding up the wires. Now this is what I came for. This is the stone arch that I'd seen in the painting. And this is looking at a gravestone through the stone arch. What an amazing place. I, I can't believe when I find ruins like this. It's like, it's like a natural habitat. This is the way everything, just the way it fell down and it's still like that. Now we're leaving again. We're going past some of the communities some of the little fishing villages, uh, Little Paradise and Paradise. You see the houses built there, some of the old houses, some of the new houses. Look at the lichen growing on the rocks and the color of the green and yellow of the houses. So rustic, it's an amazing place. I was so lucky to get to go on this little tour. Some of the fishing sheds are a little more modern. 
The houses may be getting a little run down, need some repairs, but it's hard to get materials out there and things. You can see the stilts under the house that keep it out of the water, make it easy to bring your boat up on front and unload. It's a great place. People are living there the way they have for like hundreds of years. You go in the house and you'll see a CB radio powered by a battery uh, and they charge them from generators. It's not, uh, there's no cell service, there's no Wi-Fi. Some old buildings like this. Another one of the cemeteries, this is on like a little peninsula of land sticking out into the ocean. A lot of history there. Some more of the lobster pots that are in storage. This is called Rudder Rock, which has got sort of a little notch out of it. Another rock formation here. You just, it's impossible to see these things where I come from. I mean, this is, it's a dream come true for me to tour these places and see things that I've never seen before. It's a lone seagull sentry. There's a bit of fog here in this picture. Bella's having a little look around at the scenery. Now I'm racing down the road. Some of the old houses here, some more of the farm equipment and trucks. This was in a bit rough, this road here, but pretty soon we'll be off the rocks and gravel onto a smooth road. Now we're onto the sidewalk sort of thing. There's not many cars here. There's two or three cars maybe. Uh, it's okay to let the dogs run wild here and what a place I'm telling you we're just running down the road headed for the harbor we didn't slow down for anything now we're at the harbor there's a couple stores here little places where you can buy some supplies it's an unbelievable place Now, we're on the ferry again. We're leaving Southeast Bight. Bella's had a great time. She loves going on the boats. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe.